Where are we going? So, uh, do you have any kids? Don't I always come through? Okay then. I, I know, don't you think I know that? Yes. Yeah, well, she's my daughter too, damn it. Baby, how, how was school today? Oh, you did? Okay, okay, what did you do? What else you do? So what are you, a doctor? A politician? No, I own a few strip malls and manage other properties as well. Hey, uh, you seem like a pretty smart guy. Our governor is putting place. Don't bullshit me, man. Yeah, you seem like one of them sneaky politicians. Our governor. Our governor. Yeah, well, what has our governor done for me? Just calm down. I will get the money, okay? Let me ask you something, man. Don't you bullshit me either. How do you feel about the bill he passed to cut unemployment and welfare? Kinda on the fence about that whole thing. He said don't bullshit me, man. All right. More businesses have been created as a result. This is the first time in years our state has actually had a surplus of funds at its disposal. Surplus funds that are now being reinvested into our school districts. I didn't ask you to read me a damn book. Just answer the question, man. Passing the bill was necessary. Taxing the rich isn't always the answer. Oh, so take it from the poor is. It wasn't their money to begin with. I'm aware that there are some families out there who sincerely need the assistance. Especially the parents who have to stay at home and care for their disabled children. I get that, but a lot of these folks are just... Keep talking. A lot of these folks are just using the system as a crutch. It's impossible to regulate something like this, so if you get rid of it altogether, yeah, a lot of people may not like it, but it was the best decision. Well, so when families are out on the street and their back's against the wall, what do you think is going to happen to you? gonna rob you, break into your house, sell drugs to your daughter when she grows up, or even worse, kidnap her, hold her hostage. The crime rate is rising as we speak. Hey man, uh, why don't you just take my wallet? I should have around $300 cash, plus the credit cards. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You sure if I, I just take the wallet and get out of the car now, you won't say nothing? You have my word. I ain't leaving without this car, man. Pull over. Pull over. How long do you think this is going to last? 
What? I don't think I'm better than you. Lord knows I need help. Believe me. I've made some terrible, terrible, selfish decisions. Decisions that are going to cause detriment to me and my family. I've been where you are, man. I'm from those same streets. And, and, I, and I know that you think you don't have a choice. But I'm here to tell you, you do. There's a reason we met today. I know I could get you a job. No bullshit. I've made mistakes that I, I can't turn back on. They're gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. You still have a choice, man. You still have a choice. Do the right thing. Please. Put the gun down. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, here it comes. One, two. <clears throat> All right, I love you too. I love you too. Okay.